Hey, what's up, fellas? Um, uh, it's a, almost 3 o'clock, 2.53 here, uh, September 25th, around uh, 10.30, 11 o'clock. Uh, I went to uh, Gracie Baja uh, BJJ, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and uh, was in there. And uh, the owner of Grace, that, that Gracie Baja gym made two women leave uh, because they were dressed inappropriately. Um, I go there, I only roll with about 15 guys, 15 guys and less. The rest of them, um, and if it's a young, if it's, if it's a young person, I, I, um, like I'm talking about a teenager now, one of those skinny little teenagers. I'm not trying to fucking dominate them or beat them up or make them feel bad or anything. So I let them win and all that kind of stuff like that. But these two women came in and they had, I don't know whoever told women that, um, how do you put, it looked like they had caterpillars on their eyes and they had, um, uh, their eyebrows, my eyebrows sit naturally where they're supposed to, but their eyebrows were a little higher than that, and they came down. And then uh, one of them had, like, and then the uh, ring here, and the other one had the ring there. And they were a little loud, and they had on um, leggings. Is I think they're called leggings. And you could see their, uh, we call it... Uh, NPL, noticeable panty line, and they came in with their kids, and between them, they had four kids, so uh, one lady had four, uh, three, and the other one had one one child, and they were in there like, hi, hi, and finally, maybe about eight minutes into, and I don't know if you guys know this, but you do uh, front rolls, and you, you do all this other stuff to work up, and they were being loud, and carrying it on, and kind of stuff like that, and the fucking, in, in jiu-jitsu, we don't call them sensei, we call them a professor, um, and the professor was like, Todd, everybody to the wall, and he turns around and he walks over directly to them. Get up and get out of my gym now. I've had enough of you. I don't care what you paid. I'll refund your money. Get up and leave now. And a couple of his uh, assistant instructors were like, oh, shit, this is serious. So to show support, they like rolled up behind him. And I was just, I was like sitting on the back wall like uh, with my popcorn like, Whoa. And um, uh, they tried to say a couple stupid things like that. And he said, "Ma'am, you don't want you don't want me to make you leave." And well, we're never coming back here. And he goes, "Good. That's the point of me embarrassing you in front of everybody." Anyway, so it was, oh, it was so nice. I was, you know, the two uh, young men that were with those women. I was just, but I just think, for me personally. I just think that women have been lying to themselves and been lied to by their friends so much. I will tell you this, ladies. I care more about how you treat people than the way you look, with the exception of being massively overweight. I'm not talking if you're a 5 to 15 pounds overweight, vanity weight. I'm talking if you're like 30, 50, 80, 90, 100 pounds overweight. No, hell fucking no. And the uh, crazy hair and you got, uh, they're called Dutch braids. Hey, let me stop. Uh, my people were wearing Dutch braids a long time before anybody else was. So anyways. And you get into the makeup and too much makeup, crazy eyebrows, crazy eyelashes, too many rings. No, I just, it's just the litany. God, excuse me. It, it's hilarious. I, I was so proud of my coach, uh, my professor, excuse me, my professor. Um, so, and just, and his, uh, he is a very hard man. He's been inside. He and I talk sometimes about being inside, and uh, chopping it up. 
and what happens when you put your boots on. Anyways, let me just get to the point. So I go to give him a hug. And I purposely do this to him because I'm about uh, six inches, at least six inches taller than him. And I'll give him a hug and I'll give him a hug a little bit longer than he likes. And he'll be like, boom, push me. What the fuck's wrong with you? And he's already upset. I said, look, I'm just playing. It's un chiste. No entiendo mal. Perdón, mi profesor. Perdón, perdón. And he just starts laughing and the people, ah, it's just, that's a good deal. It was, it was nice. It was nice. Um, I don't know if you've ever been around uh, a modern woman, but they, some of them have their head down here in their phone. They, they don't, they're not paying attention to the movie. They're not paying attention to what you're saying. They're, not, they're just, uh, it, was, it was hilarious. And then they were being loud. I think he had just had enough. It was probably one of the best times I've had in the uh, with my. It's a, probably one of the best times I've had with my clothes on in about about a week now. Anyways, love you guys. I just, ladies, you're not all that, and it's just like those ladies that get all dressed up to go to the supermarket. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? You buy vegetables and food for your family. Why do you have to have six inch up? All right, all right. I'll stop. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. If I hadn't found my wife, if I hadn't gone overseas, outside the United States, Mexico, to find a good traditional wife from a good traditional family, I would not be married. Um, I'm going to do whatever I can to help you guys be successful. And I'm never going to try to take anything from you. I love you guys. Just trying to help. Yes, I'm married. Yes, I say stupid shit all the time, but um, it's not out of malice. Um, and anyways, I can't believe I got that poor off on, on the track. All right. Here we go. I'm going to give you my radio voice. Let me, let me pull my shirt off. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you have to take care of yourself. Actually, the truth is you're my future and I'm being a little bit selfish by doing these videos because I want you to succeed. <coughs> like a fort in a G-string from, I'm looking off in the distance, let me try it again. From West, Texas, El Paso, I'm on here. Love you guys, just trying to help.